So far for the privacy. Woo! Hello. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> we just came back from the cinema. From the greatest showman. Yeah. And the movie was awesome. Yeah, it was really gorgeous. It was way better as I believe all of us expected. Yeah, definitely. Didn't expect it to that good to be that good. Yeah. I mean quite a good cast. Hugh Jackman, Zach Jack Efron, and some yeah. other people I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> the other ones. <laughs> but okay. I mean the the movie was great and a bit how was it called? Sad? Yeah, it was emotional. Emotional, yeah. It was a, a musical video. Like, uh. It had a proper story. Yeah, but like <laughs> Le Miserable. Never saw that Le, one. Le Miserable. There's also a musical video film. And, uh. Some other stuff. What are you doing? You're cuddling our kitty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She wants to be part of the. Family! Of the family. Well, she is part of the family already. True, true. For a couple of years. Yeah. But the video of the film was really cool. Hey, Vicky. It was really emotional. Uh, the, the, some of the, uh, the, the songs that they put in were really emotional, really strong. So, uh, yeah. I thought it was really good. We enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. My parents were there too, together with my brother and his girlfriend, and us three were there. Yep, yeah. was cool. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed myself. It was a movie um, that was organized by our dancing school, so it wasn't a regular no. movie. But it was cool to see all those people of the dancing school again. The dance teacher and the assistants of the dance. Yeah, it was really, really busy because everyone from the dance school could uh, take along everybody he liked. So, well, we were with seven, so you can guess everybody at the dance school uh, brought along a couple of friends and family. So it was really crowded, but it was really, uh, it was an uh, experience. It was really fun. So what are we going to do? You wanted to make pictures. Yeah. Yeah, let's well, with Sarah, see. but Sarah isn't here, so... No, Sarah is still on the way. <laughs> Sarah is too late for the, for the shoot. So, so she can't teach you anything? Nope. But so you have to figure it out yourself? Yep. She will be here around half past four. Yeah, but then we have to go for... Dancing! Wait for dancing lessons. So, well, yeah. finally, if they come along, finally can, somebody can, uh, can, uh, can video uh, us, because I have no idea how I dance, and it's really cool to... See good for progress to see how you dance. Mm -hmm. That's true. I only feel how I dance. I don't, uh, how do you say that? You don't, I don't feel see it. the total picture of us. No, that's true. So it really... Uh, so you expect me to, ah, yep. to go and work I for you? I didn't ask you, but... I was <laughs> no, that's, of, uh, that's, that's normal of you, Rueda. I was kind of flying it. <laughs> kach, kach, I need your help. Casper, <laughs> can you please video us? Well, Sarah's there as well, probably, so she could also video. But it's, like. it's only an hour, so... And then we can grab a bite. Yep. And make it back home in... Uh, not too late because tomorrow it's back to work. Back to worky work. And yes. I really want to go to bed early. I'm yep. not feeling that well, so. Yeah. We'll be fine. What are but what are we going to do now? We're going to shoot? Where are we going? I guess so, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea where to shoot. Just let's see where the wind brings us and we're going there to shoot. Where the wind brings us. Where the wind brings us. So, well, we're on our way to uh, the dancing school because Michael and me are going to uh, attend our dancing class. Yep. <clears throat> and we have Casper still here. But my big head, head is in front of him, so I can't see him. Um, yeah, we just finished some small shoot. Well, it's not. Was it a shoot? Can you call yeah, it? My, yeah, it was, yeah, like it was kind of a shoot. Just where are you? Dude, move! Yeah, it was his first shoot, so... Yeah, because um, Michael wanted to try some stuff and Casper uh, had brought along his video camera... Uh, his video camera... Uh, his photo, photo camera! <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I like trying stuff. 
Yes, so we brought along some kind of uh, accessories, Michael already told it, and um, yeah, I think you did quite well. Yeah, I think so. What did you think? Well, some of the photos were actually great, others weren't that great. So I'm not shooting automatically, I'm shooting manually, because that's a bit of a, well, how is it called? I don't know. And, uh, more difficult? No, not more difficult, but I think it's more, I mean, more challenging. adventure, more challenging than that. That's what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. But uh, yeah, I think it did quite well. We had some moving in the pictures, and we had the adjustments of different lightings, because, uh, because I am wearing a black uh, jacket, but I brought a white umbrella. Well, yeah, it was white. Let's say it was white. It was white. So we had to. Uh, it was kind of a challenge to uh, to work with that different kinds of light settings and stuff. And then the camera shows you the picture is yellow, and then you look, it's on the big screen, and you're like, it's not yellow. It's at not all. yellow at all. What's what going on here? Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of strange, but I just um, <coughs> getting used to and I know the camera better. And, uh, so Michael was, um, how do you say that, kind of looking forward to buy his own camera. So if you want to donate me one, it's okay. <laughs> I'm open for it. So Michael, you're going to start the Patreon? No. I'm going to start Post some sexy pictures of yourself in your Dr. Cosplay. I still have some pictures. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, we're on our way to the dance, uh, dancing school, and um, Casper here is going to make some videos because film it. yeah, because and after that, after 30 minutes, I'm going to ditch them to hang out with Sarah. <laughs> You're going actually to ditch us? Well, that's pretty sad. <laughs> you guys are busy dancing. You won't know the speed. I will. Yeah, so, and, um, then we, we're going to grab a bite, and then it's, um, heading back home uh, for a
Yep. Well, Sarah joined us while dancing. Well, not with dancing, but she joined us after dancing. So we grabbed a bite and then she went over here. So we watched some Lucifer. Uh, Casper went home after the food, so that was good. And, oh my god, Shara, she is really nuts. I mean, come on, look at this. I wanted to start photo photo uh, photography, and I said, okay, if someone wants to donate a camera, then please let me know. Well, it's not that she donated it to me or to us, but she, well, let us borrow it to make some photos. It's nuts. It's, it's, a, it's a camera. So thank you, Sarah. You're awesome. Thank you very much. But then you really actually have to use it and don't let it stand on the the closet. Yeah. On the, on the, on the dresser for the rest of the week. I know. And don't use it. I but know. you have to get an SD card for it. I know, I will get it, but that's the that's the fact, you know. I want to have a camera so I can make photos, and without a camera I can't make proper photos. Yeah, I can use my phone, but still, that's something different, and I can't actually make good photos with them. Mm -hmm. But now I have this camera, for use, so I borrow it, and now I can actually make proper photos. Mm -hmm. The only point is, I need to work this week, obviously, every day. But maybe I can do next to the vlogging, I can try to go out and to make some photos. Depends on the weather, well, not really the weather, because I can try to shoot in different weather types. So I, if it's darker, if it's lighter, it's a Canon 600D, so would be good with a 50mm camera uh, lens. So I'm not familiar with it, but let's find out. Um, well, it's a day of photography today, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> made photos today. What? This is the short answers. I'm a bit tired. I'm sorry. Oh, you're a bit tired. Well, then you should go to bed. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, yeah, day of photography and and well. I'm kind of nervous. I can imagine that. I can imagine that. Yeah, because you are doing some face treatment this yeah. week, so I can imagine you're nervous. And trust me, I won't keep you in the vlog at a time if it's bad. Because yeah, well, she's getting her face peeled. Well, maybe you can explain it. Because if I do, it's it's uh, it's really weird. Okay, let me try. Starting this Tuesday, I'm going to get um, a treatment every two weeks for ten weeks. So I've got five treatments, and that starts this Tuesday, in which they are going to give my face a chemical peeling, and with. What I understood of it was that they were going to put some acid on my face. Well, it sounds more dangerous than it is, but... You're not uh, going to be the Joker or Harvey no, no, Two-Face no, no. or something. <laughs> no, well, I hope not. Warina Two-Face. But um, uh, they're going to put some vitamin acids on my face. I have no idea what kinds of acids, but... Uh, what it does is it sheds my top skin layer really, really fast and it makes it so that it produces new skin regenerating yeah kind of like <laughs> so perhaps i should look about like that i'm regenerating tuesday Whoop. yeah but it in but um instead of me uh, uh instead of it uh, taking uh, a half an hour or whatever um it's taking me a week and um yeah so the acid makes sure that my skin is um uh, how do you say that Falling off? Yeah, falling off, so shedding, shedding like shedding. a snake. Yeah. So I've seen some before and after pictures of people and it looked really cool and really great and really smooth and whatever. And um, they want to do that every two weeks because they really want to get in deep in, the, in my into my skin because I have, yeah, you don't see it that well, but all the pictures you see it and I see it all day and all, all the time. I've really got... Uh, Skin t for scar tissue here and here and here from the the skin disease I had uh, two years back, and um, I really want to try to get some smooth skin again. So yeah, they are going to treat me five times, and each times they each time they want to get deeper into my skin. But the problem is, uh, two or three days after you did the treatment, you're going to look horrible for a couple of days. So um, I'm kind of not looking forward to that. And I also was stupid 
to uh, look on the internet what kind of uh, uh, treatment it is and they said that the treatment is going to hurt really bad because it's going to burn yeah I can imagine really it's bad. she is going the, the the person from the hospital who's going to do that she's really going to be there to cool my skin so I'm kind of nervous because I really don't like it to hurt and I really hope that my uh, how do you say that pain tolerance is high enough for me to endure the uh, the treatment because I have to do it five times so I'm, really, I'm sure you will be fine yeah, I'm nervous as hell I can imagine that but after all you're a woman yeah and you need what, to what, 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 what? well you need to you be able to give birth so that means you have a higher pain tolerance than most of the Men have. Yeah, perhaps. But that doesn't take away the issue that I'm still nervous about it. I can't imagine. And then I really hope that... Well, she said to me, Okay, four weeks of the Rokitan was just too little, so let's make it eight weeks or two months. And I really hope that that, that is enough for my skin to have been healed and whatever. I do not want to have um, a bad reaction on the treatment due to the fact that there is still too much Rokitan in my body. But yeah, because you 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 had it for like what one and a half year or something? Well, a year and eight months. Yeah, exactly. That's a long time. I mean, normal people have it for six months. Six months a max, year. a year, and you one year, eight months. Yeah, but I had a lot of problems with the uh, with the side effects. Still coping with the side effects. Some of a few people already knew it because I posted it on Facebook. I'm having a little bit of a breakdown the last couple of weeks and I'm, um, yeah, I'm having a really hard time to uh, deal with those things. So I went to the, uh, to the doctor last Friday and I was sick last week because I just, you know, I couldn't handle it anymore and I was totally knackered. I was so tired and last weekend was really emotional for me and, um, yeah, it hurt me pretty bad and emotionally I was just, I couldn't, I just couldn't continue. I really was, <sighs> yeah, never mind. I just, yeah, but um, I'm working on it, so. It's getting better. Mm. I hope. It will. So yeah, for the rest, we're going to back to work tomorrow. Um. You as well, I guess. And yeah, me too. So, boring week starting again. Work, stuff. Trying to make a lot of photos with a camera. Yay! And well, see what uh, brings this week for the rest. Do we have other plans this week? Uh, with this week? No, I'm just hiding under my blanket. Not yeah, yeah, true, it. true. Because you have your face uh, done. I got it. Okay, so yeah, for me... Uh, I don't know yet. We'll see what it brings. So, finishing it up now. Just would say, see you tomorrow, guys, again. Sleep well, guys. Sleep bye well. Bye-bye.